What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my warts. My peeps, my peoples, Peep Squad is in the building. So let's get down to this situation with Portia Williams and, you know, Kenya Moore. Like, it's going down between them two. Lord have mercy, especially on the chat room. And Giselle, she jumps into the situation and she's throwing shade at Kenya Moore. Basically saying Kenya Moore can't call nobody disgusting. She's the one that brought her daughter on a trip and the first place to a black charrette party when she didn't supposed to be there. And then Portia Williams jumped in and said she didn't care. She didn't give a damn about her daughter being there because she was downstairs busting it wide open. I was like, Lord have mercy, what is going on? with this situation so basically Portia Williams is saying you know and you know Giselle is saying Kenya Moore didn't care about her daughter being around anything and Portia Williams says damn sure Kenya Moore didn't care because she was busting it open and then people are pointing out that Kenya Moore was on the floor she was spread it wide open and then on top of that situation she was sticking the money in Bolo's pants and basically Bolo had to move her hand that's what people are saying out here in these streets and also we didn't see we did see it on the episode so bolo is making his second sunday around bolo is a part of real housewives of Atlanta. he was on watch what happens live he is all over the place he's getting bookings candy blew him up and also andy coma made sure he had him front row and center on watch what happens live and was flirting and asking this man about his size and his girth Ooh, Lord, too much is going on with that situation, but it is what it is. So I was like, okay. So Portia Williams basically was asked the question like, you know, how come you got up at the dinner table and you walked away? That is what Giselle asked Portia Williams. And Portia Williams was basically like, because this is stupid. Like, I'm not going to sit at this table and keep going over the same stuff that we talked about the other night. And I'm not going to be sitting here facing these accusations against me. You know what I mean? Like, she was basically saying, I'm not going to sit here at this dinner and go through this and be scolded like I'm a child. Like, this is dumb. Like, if we was having fun and kiki and talking about the situation, but well, we got to sit here and watch Kenya Moore basically be a private investigator, you know? So she was just basically, so I got up and left because I wanted to be the Zen Portia. And plus, you know, I don't owe anybody anything and I don't need to explain nothing to her. So she was done and she said good night. And that's why she walked away from the table at the dinner because she didn't want no more of the drama. Because she, she was like, you know what, I did what I did. But you ain't going to keep making me a storyline. It seems like Kenya Moore and Portia Williams are the season when it comes to the situation. Them going back and forth in the bolo situation just really blew up and Bolo is staying on the show Kenya Moore and you know um and her accusation and investigating who got down with Bolo and who was doing it with Bolo and then Candy Burris being bringing Bolo to the show and making sure he shine and get his props and Candy Burris threw a big old good party baby where it's still being talked about today lord have mercy Candy know how to throw a party so it is what it is and then Giselle she gets into the situation and basically she asks, you know, um, Portia, what do you think about, you know, um, Tanya Stamps basically just giving, knowing that there's an investigation going on and she is basically giving herself away and said that she was in the room with you all night when she knows that Kenya Moore was doing an investigation trying to find out who was the other woman in the room. So with that situation, I was like, mm. so basically Giselle is trying to say, you know, um, Tanya Sam done gave it all away. You know, she, you know, she done gave all the information. And basically Portia Williams, like, she didn't really give out no information because we was the last two women standing and we was drinking, we was eating snacks. We was passed, we passed out in my room. We was having fun. And then Hannah was like, so you guys were eating Cheetos and making sounds. And so, you know, Portia Williams was like, we are grown ass women. We could do what we want to do. And basically, maybe we was making sounds, eating food or whatever the case may be. I was like, Lord, have mercy. 
<laughs> it is doing too too much is going on with this situation it is just not going to die down what went down at cynthia bailey's bachelorette party but we get down to this situation where basically giselle feels a certain type of way because kenya moore is judging the women and she's saying you know what they were doing she thinks it is disgusting and so it was just like damn you know basically she giselle is calling out kenya moore by by calling the ladies disgusting because of what they're doing and Giselle said you know you said it was disgusting because you had your daughter downstairs and she was like you didn't supposed to have your daughter there in the first place you know I was like Lord have mercy when you didn't supposed to bring your daughter on a trip in the first place you brought your daughter to a bachelorette party you know oh I was like what is going on and then Portia also said it's just a judgment for me it's the way that she is judging me like she is really judgy judgy like what's going on with that situation and also Portia Williams says she knew her daughter was downstairs in the first place and she didn't care because she was downstairs you know you know doing what it do baby she was down there busting it open downstairs knowing that her daughter was upstairs so basically Giselle is calling out Kenya Moore for having her daughter at a bachelorette party with a bunch of adultivities going on and Kenya Moore said that Portia, Kenya, Portia Williams says that Kenya Moore did not care because she was downstairs doing what it do while her daughter was upstairs I was like Lord have mercy what is going on with this situation I was like so they coming for Kenya Moore and basically saying that since Kenya Moore said it was disgusting for Portia Williams and you know Latoya and also you know Tanya Sams and Mr. Bolo to be getting busy or doing what they was doing at the bachelorette party it was disgusting to do it in the house because it was other people in the house I was like Lord have mercy what is going on with this situation but Kenya Moore is basically saying it's basically you know there's other people around in the situation so therefore you know you're gonna get intimate don't do it in a room a house full of other people you know that you ain't even cool with and you working with but anyways in any event you know P Kenya Moore has said that but then you got Giselle and Portia Williams coming for Kenya Moore and her judgment of having her daughter at the house in the first place they know that she ain't got nobody to watch her daughter. She don't got that sisterhood or babysitter or nanny at the time that she could trust. But in any event, they're calling out Kenya Moore and basically saying that she made a poor decision by having her daughter there. If she thinks anything is disgusting, I was like, mm-hmm. They are going in on this situation. So you guys let me know what you think. And also, Portia Williams will show the clip of you know, Don Juan and Candy Burris talking their ish when Don Juan said that, oh, Bolo, you know, didn't get to his hotel. The car didn't pick him up until 7 a.m. And also, we're going to call social justice snatch and also Bolo time, OnlyFans social justice edition, and also bolo knows portia for real so this is what you know don Wall was saying about portia and then candy jumped in and candy said tanya time i was like lord when candy said tanya time and don juan and you know candy is kikiing about the situation but it really didn't bother portia she said oh don juan you just mad because you couldn't be at the party you wasn't invited to this event you wasn't invited to this party mm. Uh, uh, uh. It seems like Don Juan and Candy Burris are basically like, like shocked that Portia did what she did, knowing that she came after Candy and was acting all wild and everything. Like, mm, mm, mm. they're looking at like Portia, like girl. <laughs> but in any event, so we have that situation, and then Giselle asks Portia Williams, you know, what do you think the ladies were being honest with their husbands because it was going to be shown on TV, or because they knew that their husband was going to end up watching the episode? So that is that what kept the ladies honest with their husbands? And Portia Williams basically saying everybody wasn't so honest because she said the the wives only or the ladies only gave them a snippet because only a snippet was shown on the show so basically Portia Williams said it was only a snippet all this 
hoo-ha, all this whoop-blah, all this hoopla about everything. And it was only a small little bit of snippet. So, you know, maybe Drew wasn't telling the truth. Maybe Shamia, maybe Cynthia. <laughs> you know? With the situation or Candy Burris, we know Candy didn't do anything. She was, she don't need nothing. She don't need no drinking or no nothing to do anything. But she wasn't doing nothing. So you guys, let me know about that situation. So basically, you know, Portia Williams is saying that they only told their partners a snippet. Miss Cynthia Bailey too, as well. Miss Cynthia, you know, did she was she totally honest? You know, with Mike Hill, and it is what it is. And then. It goes down where they end up watching a little bit of a part of where, you know, Latoya, you know, forever basically is feeling a certain type of way when it comes, you know, to Kenya Moore. Like, she's feeling a certain type of way. She's feeling like Kenya Moore is doing way too much. Kenya Moore is basically the devil. She is like Satan when she's mad at you and when she's upset with you and she wants to come after you. She's like Kenya Sa Satan. I was like, what's going on? She is like basically going in on Kenya Moore and saying that Kenya Moore is, you know, she could be Satan if she's coming after you and she want a piece of you. And basically Portia thinks like, mm-hmm. Portia think that this is okay for Latoya to say this because Latoya is actually being a real friend about the situation. And then the ladies get into talking about the situation with Kenya Moore and Mark Daly. And then Portia Williams do some reading. And Portia Williams basically say, when, you know, Kenya Moore walked in there to talk to the lawyer, you know, uh, the attorney about her situation. And she said Mark Daly was playing her some songs and, you know, he made a playlist for her. She was like, what is this, high school? He better get up out of here. Mark don't have no game. He don't know how to be romantic or anything else. He was like, she was like, what, don't they download songs? Like, what's going on with that situation? She was like, yo, that's so corny. I was like, what? So she she dissed Mark Daly. And then also Hannah asked, why is Mark Daly asking for alimony now when he said he didn't want some? He didn't want any. He didn't want no alimony. And then Giselle jumped in and she said, Giselle jumped in. And she said that it's because it's a pandemic and his restaurant is closed and he ain't making no money and he needs some support. And he knows that Kenya Moore is employed, that she's employed on the show. And she also has Kenya Moore, head, um, Kenya Moore hair care. So therefore, he wants some of them duck and some of that money. He want to get paid for his, you know, what he, what he done gave to Kenya Moore. Lord have mercy. So, Miss Giselle, she went in on Mark Daly, basically calling him a bum, a gold digger, and everything else like that when it comes to the situation that he's trying to live off of Kenya more. And, you know, Portia Williams, she came in and she said, you know, him making them songs for Kenya Moore and the playlist, that is just so corny. What is this, high school? I was like, damn. And then and Hannah's like, it's so cold. And it was like, the voice is cold, baby. The voice is cold. I was like, mm, mm, mm. And when it comes to the situation, when it comes to Giselle, Giselle was just like, Lord have mercy. When you get the voice, it is cold. And basically, you know, he's going to pick her pockets. And Portia basically says that she is so sick of these men getting with these successful women, you know, and taking advantage of them. And then all of a sudden it doesn't work out. They want to take everything from them. You know, they basically, Portia Williams is saying that Mark Daly seeked out Kenya Moore because she's a businesswoman. She got everything together. And so as soon as things don't work, out or it don't go the man way aka mark daly you know they want to pick your pockets clean i was like damn what is really going on with this situation so it seems like portia was basically reading mark daly and also giselle was reading mark daly all day every day i was like lord and you know and portia women's basically saying mark daly's pretending you know but at the end of the day they want that money mm -mm -mm. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. I was like, they was really going in. And Portia's really trying to act like it ain't bothering her. Like it ain't hurting her situation. She don't care. She probably, she cared when the shit was going down. Because she was very annoyed. She was very upset. But she did handle herself like a lady. And not get all upset and get mad and try to defend herself. Because any way it goes, this is what she gave to Kenya Moore to 
used against her. And I don't think she expect anything less from Kenya Moore. But she didn't know that she was going to go in and go have and have a whole good old time with Bolo. Get down to the nitty gritty with Bolo. And also bring her one of her closest friends on the show. Her ally, Tanya Sam's with Tanya. Sam has to leave the show so in any event I know she has some regrets but she can't take it back and only thing she can do is put on a brave face and act like she don't give a damn all she needs is a shot of Hennessy and she be gone with the wind baby she be twirling with Kenya Moore and Kenya Moore yes is doing way too much she's doing way too much but you know what this is what she's going to use for her storyline this is you know a, this is a little piece of a storyline that she can use and basically capitalize off the bachelorette party that she threw you know, for Cynthia Bailey is so big. It was like the biggest thing of, you know, the season. So in any event, Kenya Moore ain't gonna let a good story pass her by. Kenya Moore ain't gonna let a good opportunity pass her by at all, point blank, period. And also, Kenya Moore says that Portia was very judgy of other women and calling out what they were doing. So therefore, you know, gloves off with Portia. She ain't gonna, she ain't gonna play kitty gloves with Portia Williams. And Portia Williams like, I don't care no more. <laughs> Also, Giselle Bryan asked Portia Williams, was Kenya Moore upset because Latoya Forever was having more fun with you? And we know that Kenya Moore has a crush on Latoya Forever. And Portia Williams basically said that Kenya Moore is upset because nobody was kissing on her and nobody was touching her and touching her coins on her foot i was like lord and she said nobody wanted to do nothing with her lord have mercy what is going on with this situation mm -mm -mm.